Hi, this is Dr. Rao from Best Surgical. Uh, in this video, I'll show you uh, the latest features of the iPubMed or the iSearch Biomed app. Uh, we recently integrated uh, OpenAI and ChatGPT uh, into the app. Uh, so let's get started. So uh, initially, uh, when you do the search, you can actually search in uh, uh, the natural English language. For example, I can ask, uh, how do you manage um, perforated diverticulitis? Um, and uh, then you hit search. So uh, the AI is going to recognize uh, the PubMed keywords in your search and automatically uh, search through them. So initially it will display all of the relevant studies. Uh, you can further uh, figure out the most relevant studies by clicking on highly relevant. Um, uh, you see a lot of studies displayed here. You can further filter these results based on the type of study. Uh, these are all, uh, again, uh, uh, functions of uh, our AI. Um, for example, uh, want to pull out all the meta-analysis or all the uh, review papers or whatever. Um, we still have the basic sort functions, which uh, which uh, basically are fields that are recognized by native PubMed. Uh, they are not that accurate, but we, we just uh, left, left them in. Uh, one of the features that uh, you might find useful here is uh, the ability to pull out all the full text articles. So uh, some of the most powerful uh, functions that we introduced in the recent version is uh, the ability to uh, summarize the entire, uh, entire uh, uh, result list uh, that you see here, uh, and uh, also uh, the ability to ask any question uh, on your result list. And uh, both of these functions use uh, uh, the chat GPT from OpenAI. Uh, so whenever, whenever you do this uh, functions, uh, you, you need to be careful to uh, include as little a number of studies as possible because uh, they use up a lot of resources and a lot of money. So I'm going to further uh, filter this result based on, let us say, um, uh, I want to pull out only the meta-analysis, for example. And uh, then I try to uh, summarize this list of results. So it, it says it takes about 40 seconds to run. Um, so yeah, so um, here it kind of displays uh, uh, the results of the, the summary of all the results uh, of the abstracts that you sent, sent to the AI. Um, and yeah, I mean, a lot of this makes sense. It's not just good English, but also it made a lot of this uh, makes sense to me as a surgeon and as a doctor. Um, the other function that you can uh, you can use is, uh, you can basically ask any question on, on, on this list of uh, abstracts. Uh, uh, and for example, you can ask uh, the AI to pull out all abstracts that uh, uh, deal with outcomes of ostomy reversal or wh whatever whatever you can think of. You know, it's, it's just very difficult to get them through uh, just searching here or by even using our, uh, uh, you know, or using the uh, entity recognition uh, uh, part of the AI. Yeah, so uh, let's do that now. Uh, I basically sent out a query saying, uh, asking the AI to pull out all abstracts uh, that mention the incidence of ostomy reversal. And uh, I asked the AI to mention a brief, uh, brief result of those studies and uh, not to mention the results of other studies. Uh, the trick here is to be extremely specific in what you ask. Uh, uh, previously, I sent out a query asking uh, uh, the AI to uh, uh, you know, give me all the re results of the studies that deal with ostomy reversal. So I basically got back all of the uh, studies I sent over because uh, you know, uh, every surgical procedure deals with ostomy. So I mean, you need to be very specific uh, in your question. And uh, yeah, you can see the result here. Uh, it's uh, uh, you know quite uh, accurate in pulling out the studies that I want. And uh, yeah. So uh, like I mentioned before, I actually use this to uh, generate multiple choice questions uh, that I use for my other platforms. Um, let me try that again. Uh, let me again minimize the number of studies. Let me just say, let me just send over three meta analysis and. Uh, I'll ask uh, the AI to generate two multiple choice questions. I'll say I need four choices for each question. I'll use all the abstracts to generate every question. And uh, uh, Show the correct answer and a brief 
information after each question. And now I send this over. Yeah, so that was pretty quick. Um, well, uh, you, you need to actually review whatever the AI writes. It's not going to be uh, it's going to be quite accurate, but it's not going to be one hundred percent accurate. And uh, you know, it's, you might disagree with uh, some of it, even if it's uh, right to other people. So you know, you just have to review uh, a lot of the things that the AI writes. Um, yeah. Um, Otherwise, uh, we've kept a lot of the other functions syntax, for example, that one search option recognizes entities, you can sort by sample size, you can go to custom search, and uh, then you can basically pull out all the uh, entities that were identified across the abstracts, uh, you, know, you can identify the common entities identified, and you can basically pull out studies that have these entities. Um, yeah, so we kept those features intact. Uh, yeah. Uh, and uh, the, the 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 results that were generated by AI in this uh, in this in this region, uh, you can basically save it to your uh, save it to the iPubMed cloud, or you can uh, save it on your device, and they'll be available uh, on the cloud-based uh, uh, folders here. Uh, yeah, uh, this this actually sync across your devices, and we have unlimited cloud storage. Uh, yeah, so uh, we have uh, right now we have two tiers of subscription. We have uh, one that uh, provides OpenAI and also access to our other app, uh, iSearch Science, and one that does not. And uh, uh, both are uh, yearly subscriptions. Uh, yeah, so uh, let, let me know how uh, these things work out for you. Obviously, the OpenAI based functions are extremely powerful. Um, let me know if you have any uh, suggestions to. Uh, you know, better utilize those functions and uh, whatever. Um, uh, thank you.